And I want to share with you a story that Sheikh Muhammad Hassan shared once, said that a young man once went to his teacher and he said, how do I dream of the Prophet I really want to see the Prophet in a dream. You know, how sweet is it when you close your eyes at night and you are looking at the Prophet There is no feeling in the world that could parallel that feeling, right? How jealous should we be of Anas who used to see the Prophet every single night? Wow! How lucky and blessed is Anas We all want that blessing to see the Prophet because the Prophet said it also has implications. Whoever sees me in his sleep has indeed seen me. This is a good sign. This is a great bushra. And this young man comes to a shaykh and he says, I want to see the Prophet He said, okay, well, let's eat dinner. And he served him a dinner that was full of salt, just threw salt all over the food. And the young man is eating this food and he thought this must be some kind of weird approach to it, you know. <laughs> this is how you see the Prophet ﷺ eat salty food, really salty food. And the Shaykh didn't give him any water to drink. And then he went to sleep that night. And he woke up in the morning and the Shaykh asked him, what did you see last night? He said, I saw waterfalls and oceans and seas and rivers. <laughs> I just saw bodies of water everywhere. And the Shaykh said, there's your answer. If you desire the Prophet ﷺ, if you love the Prophet ﷺ, if he's occupying your thoughts, he's occupying your heart, you will see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.